Chop, chop. Hurry, hurry, my pitiful ones. A new lesson, but first, a recap of what you've learned before. Intention has two centers, inner and outer. The inner center is located in the forehead. The outer at the tip of the braid, your energetic plate. Your inner intention accounts for everyday activities in the current frame. Outer intention is capable of moving the future slides, composing your reality. You do want to learn how to compose your reality, don't you? Of course you do. Let's say you have a dream, a desire. There is a saying in folklore, it does no harm to dream, which hints that it is also useless to be dreaming. Does this mean that the silly saying is true and that you, my snutties, have nothing to hope for? I will explain to you in the next lesson why dreams don't come true. For now, we will move directly to the technique. First, do it, then you will understand it. This way is better for you. Now, listen carefully. First, wake up and place your attention into the awareness state. As usual, say to yourself, I see myself and I see reality. Second, activate the plate. Feel it. Here it is. As soon as you focus your attention on the plate, it instantly raises up at an angle to your spine and is activated. Third, without taking your attention away from the plate, imagine a picture of the future. In your thoughts, in words, or the screen, whichever way feels natural, compose your reality. You may notice that when you activate the plate, your eyes shift into a different gear. Try and feel. You have raised your plate. What happens to your eyes? They become a little wider, as if they are beginning to radiate. This functionality is new, unfamiliar mode of being for you. Previously, you only watched the outer film and obeyed it. Now you can make the film roll independently. Let's repeat once again. This is how. Wake up, focus your attention on the plate, and then, keeping your senses attuned to a plate, imagine what you wish, as if it were depicted on the screen. See your desired slide. That is exactly how you eliminate the future frame and how you make it manifest in physical reality. Later, you will learn how to do this instantaneously in a single movement. The plate works like a film projector. You can turn your little I wants and if onlys on the inner screen as much as you like but it won't be very effective, practically useless. The projector only launches to the full capacity at the moment when your thoughts, words, and images originate from the outer intention center. So, if you want to do more than just wallow in your own thoughts and would like to influence your reality, turn on the plate, use your projector, it is not necessary to hold your attention focused on the tip of the plate. It is enough to sense it, like you would a phantom limb. Really, you can activate it however you wish. The specific sensations are a very personal thing. It is also not necessary to pay attention to your eyes. You can keep them closed. It doesn't make any difference. What is important is that the thoughts, words and images are paired with the plate. And so, my fuzzy bunnies, my precious, you're just a step away from becoming rulers of the universe. I'm filled with such a awe 
that I don't know whether to faint or bow in the reverence. Go on, surprise me with your abilities. First of all, though, you must surprise yourself. And for that, you must acquire the practical skills needed to control the moving frame. We will begin with basics, the fulfillment of immediate desires. Let's say, on the film roll of the day, a certain event is approaching, which could have a successful or an unsuccessful outcome for you. To start with, take the simplest thing that will fit into one frame. This could be something simple, for example, making a purchase, finding a parking space, any everyday task at work, university, or at home. You have the power to insert the frame into a successful film role. You already know what to do. Wake up, activate the plate, and while holding a sense on the plate, you imagine what you desire to come true. Then, you can let go of the feeling of the plate and continue to operate as normal. Repeat the action of illuminating the frame a few times over, just to make sure. You will see for yourself what follows. Come on, come on. Keep your diapers dry. Don't wet yourself in the process. You will experience very mixed feelings when you understand that something has taken place that is impossible. You will find it hard to believe that outer reality surrenders to your will. Usually the opposite happens and you are the subject to external reality. The rate of your successful experiments depend, wait for it, on your sense of the reality of what is happening. Your measurement will depend on routine and habit. Anything is real if it happens several times. Something that has never happened cannot be real, right? In other words, for you, things are only possible if they fit into your template of your worldview. If you did not know that it was possible to ride a bike with two wheels, you wouldn't be riding one. It is exactly the same with the movement of the frame. You won't be able to control it if you believe it is to be unrealistic. So what can you do to make it real? You will find out very soon, my darlings.